this video we are assembling the Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus um, bedtime Santa slice card. Um, this is a five by seven card and I am going to pull in the base here. You have one piece that's just an empty slice with the slices at the bottom. That's for the front piece here. Then you have three. These are the cross pieces. And then the pieces for the Santa. Okay, so I'm going to start so it's a night sky with stars. I chose white for my background. You could do yellow if you want yellow stars. I chose white so that um, I have a, a nice good place to write on the back. You'll notice that the white piece does not have slits in the bottom. This is to cover the tabs that we're going to fold over. So I'm going to start by inserting my tabs. Make sure that the two slots are facing what you want to be the front of your card. And I'm just going to fold this over. And then take it back and glue it down. And while I'm holding that, I'm going to fold this both ways. We're going to do that with the other two pieces as well. And I'm just making sure this is level with the bottom. These slice cards are really nice. They're quick to put together. They don't take as much paper as the box card or the pop-up card. So you can use up a lot of scraps. Okay, so that is that, that piece. And then I'm going to glue this straight onto the back to cover these tabs. And I'm going to apply the glue to the back since it does have the cutouts. And I don't want to put glue where the cutouts are. <clears throat> I'm just going to line this right up and glue that into place. That's the other thing I like about this technique of covering the tabs on the back. I always use a white piece of cardstock so that I can I have a nice big surface for writing a message. Okay, now for the front piece on this one, this is just going to go in first. So I'm going to fold it over and make sure it's down all the way. And then I'm going to fold up my tabs so that I can glue them into place.
Okay, we want to fold this both ways so that it doesn't matter for your recipient which way they fold their card. And I'm going to set that aside for a moment and I'm going to find the pieces for the slipper. Okay, so for the slippers, we've got the piece with the eyes cut out, and then the black goes behind that, and then the red for the nose. And so that's how those go together. Pretty simple. And then we're going to glue it to this front piece. And then apply glue. I have to hold this because it's moving. Hold on. And we're going to cover up these tabs. So we have already done the front and the back of this card. Okay, now it'll stand up. And set that aside <clears throat> and let's put our Santa together. So he has several little pieces here. I've tried to keep the assembly pretty simple for him. I hope that you don't find it too And then probably the easiest thing to do would be to line up his sleeves here first. Okay. Now his face. So put his band. You can see here where there's an, a spot that that fits right in, this band here. <clears throat> then there are notches 
and I don't know if you can see it, but there's two little notches here in his beard and that goes on, whoops, that goes on either side here of this. So you'll see that it just fits, just fits right in, just like that. You just want to make sure not to cover up his eyes. So you just kind of In fact, let's let's change that. If you look here at the piece that goes behind his eyes, that's the cutout right here. And that's an easier way to line that up. So glue this right on him just like this. Okay. I'm just sliding it right down. You can feel it just slide right into place. Okay. Now the beard is going to line up directly with, with the sides. I'm going to put that on. His mustache, you can see right here where it goes. It goes right like that. And his nose. And his eyebrows. And it might be easier to place the glue and then put the eyebrows on them. Or you can do it the other way. And then you're going to put his hands on. And then I am going to grab a piece of foam tape here. Okay. And I'm going to put it right here on his hand. And then you can add the teddy bear there for him to hold it. We're going to bring in our card and this is going to slide right into the center. And there is the Mr. Claus. I'll set him aside for a minute and then pull in Mrs. Claus. So you're going to start with her skin layer. Up, 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 up. Oh, I'm missing a piece. No. Okay. Give me just a second to look through my other pieces. I might just have to cut. Um, 
I'm missing the piece that goes behind her eyes. And look on the floor. I'm just gonna. So there is a piece that goes behind her eyes. Um, I do not see the piece, so I'm just going to take some black card stock and put it in here. But there, it looks kind of like a mask, the piece that goes behind her eyes. I don't know what I've done with it. I did have it, and now I don't. So I'm improvising for the sake of keeping the video going. And I'm just going to glue some black here behind her eye. There we are. It must have fallen on the floor. Okay. So now we're going to glue this into place. So we've been pretty freaky with some red eyes. And then her nightgown goes on. And there's a little collar for it. Then you've got one piece that's her hair and the other piece is the hat. This just layers right on top. Her little bow. There's two pieces to the bear, which I didn't show you on the Santa. I already had that bear glued together. And then again, I'm going to pop him up with some foam tape. I'm just making sure to cover the whole foam square there. And so there is the Sleepy Time Mrs. Claus. I just got to get this lined up to the slots. Reminds me of my days of playing with paper dolls. So there is the oh, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Thank you for joining me.